All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, Akim out there, sincerely doing the work of the whole for elect, all right? This is Psalms 51, verse 1. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet came unto him, after he had gone into Bathsheba, have mercy upon me, O power, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge my transgression, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight. Thou that mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bone which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O power, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold with me thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O power, the power of my salvation, Yahweh Shai, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, my mouth shall shew forth thy praise, for thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delighterest not in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of the Most High, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offerings and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Upon thine altar. This was the book of Psalms, chapter 51, the Psalm of David. You know, this is a prayer that the apostles and elders always pushed. You know, they still push, you know, to, for brothers to pray and ask the Heavenly Father for forgiveness and forgiveness of sins. All right, now verse 17, it says, The sacrifices of the Most High are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. Now, the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is looking for the brokenhearted, man. All right, he's looking for those that are meek in his spirit. That have that that are broken, that are broken down in you know in in spirit, you know, to heal them. You know the scriptures tell you that the Lord came to heal the the sick. Okay. Now, when you look at the word contrite, which I'm gonna get that real quick. I'm gonna get that in um the dictionary.com. Contrite is caused by or showing sincere remorse, filled with a sense of guilt and the, de the desire of atonement. Okay, now that's what Yahweh Shai is looking for, Akim, right? He's looking for men, you know, that, you know, because we're all Israelite, all Israelites, all right? Because all Israelites was given the law, statutes, and commandments, all right? So all Israel, you know, have fell short of the glory, which is going off and sinning. All right, but what the Heavenly Father is looking for, you know, in men, all right, in his people are sincere remorse. All right, that's how you repent unto the Most High, you know, by showing sincere remorse in what we do, in our sins. All right, caused by or showing sincere remorse. All right, it says, fill with a sense of guilt and the desire for atonement. Now, you know, when we go off in the truth, man, scriptures say, let not your sins weigh you down. You know, when you feel that sense of remorse, when you feel that guilt, you know, and that desire for atonement, that's what the Heavenly Father is looking for, man. All right, now atonement is to ask for forgiveness of sins. All right, so when the scriptures say the sacrifices of sin are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, okay, the sacrifices of sin, of sin and going off, is a, is a sincere remorse, a broken spirit, you know, feeling guilty for what you've done, you know, wanting to atone for what you've done, 
all right it says atonement the satisfaction or rep re um, reparation for a wrong or injury amends okay that's why we got the day of atonement you know a day in which we we um amend you know for our sins we amend you know to the heavenly father for our wrongdoings all right so just wanted to touch on that man you know for brothers that are feeling you know heavy laden with their iniquities and their sins all right for brothers out there that's sincere about this truth you know because we go off we go off man all right the scriptures tell you that the, the creature is subject unto vanity man you know we go off man so brothers you know scriptures also say in um proverbs that righteous man falls seven times a just man falls seven times and get it back up you know but the wicked shall fall into mischief so if you're a just man show since show, you know show sincerity man you know show remorse for what you do you know if you go off just get up and keep on moving you know you know repent pray to the most high fast unto the most high that he may forgive you man all right we living in times where you how about shimmy is getting ready to come back and we don't want our sins to weigh us down you know have us feeling you know have them spirits on you have you feeling like this is not for you you know the lord ain't dealing with you all right Rebuke them demons, man. Rebuke the tempter, man. Just fight this out to the very end. You know? Lord willing, man. You know, so hey, that's all I wanted to say on that, man. You know, Psalms 51. Brothers can read that, man. You know, it's a good scripture. It's a good prayer. It's a good song. All right? So anyway, with that, I want to say shalom to the Akim out there. Sincerely enduring, fighting a good fight of faith. Shalom.